Hello? It's Ayabe. Masuda told me to give you a ring. You need something? Yeah. Info I hear you got. You got the cash? I'm done handing out freebies. Oh, and the price will depend on what you want to know. Well, it just so happens you already told Kaitos on the price. 200 grand. Hmm? You know how all that money got stolen from the Matsugane? I want to know what happened to it. And what, I said it'd be 200k? That's what he told me. In that case, let's make it 100. Price drops with age. Oh, does it? Look, I'm not pulling the numbers out of my ass. I got calculations. System. Anyway, I'll drop by your place tomorrow. Have the cash ready. Must we? Stay down. Sorry about that. Hmm? Yagami.
It's Ayabe. Wake up and look behind you. <laughs> huh? God, next time just knock, would you? Those the files on the Matsugane robbery investigation? Investigation? What have you been smoking? No Yakuza's gonna report a robbery on their office. I mean, they'd have cops swarming the place. Wait. The Matsugane incident was never a formal case. I rounded all of this up myself. You have cash? A hundred grand, just like you asked. Nice. Everything's so clear. And these are practically real case files. You want to know how long I spend on this stuff? Way more than I do on the streets, that's for sure. <laughs> Someone's proud of himself. <laughs> now then. This is the floor plan for the Matsugane family office. It's from a year ago, when the break-in happened. They haven't remodeled since then, have they? <laughs> Doubt it. So... To avoid getting seen by the security camera, the thief snuck in behind a guy coming in. Once they were in the camera's blind spot, he pistol whipped the guy and knocked him out cold. At the time, Kaito was the only one watching over the office. That's why the thief went in at 3pm. Barely any guards to deal with. All he had to do was point his gun at Kaito and get him to open the safe. There was only one thief. Why didn't Kaito-san fight back? What would you do if a guy pointed a gun at your head and then shot the ceiling to prove his point? Even a guy like him would freeze up under that kind of pressure. You're really gonna chance playing hero? Once the safe was open, the thief smacked Kaito too. Knocked him out just like the last guy. And that's how the story ends. Sounds a little too well thought out. <laughs> this guy was a pro. And consider this. If he didn't know when the office would be empty, he'd never have been able to pull it off. Clearly, he had a contact on the inside. Maybe. But still. I don't understand why Kaito-san reacted like that. Normally, he'd have killed the guy, or died trying. <laughs> thought you'd say that. Hmm? That was all just a warm-up. This next bit is what's worth the hundred grand. So, I said Kaito was alone in the office, right? Well, turns out someone else was there too. Huh? Higashi. He saw the whole thing go down. But Kaito's the guy who took the proverbial bullet. It's gonna be my turn. <laughs> Apparently the poor guy was polishing his boss's shoes off in the corner. By the time he figured out what was going on, he was fucked. Okay then, you got me. The money's yours. Uh, 
I'll just go get it. Higashi couldn't forget that face if he tried. It was seared into his memory. You could say it all worked out for the best, since no one got killed. You could also say Higashi abandoned his Aniki and let the thief get away. And that's one way for a Yakuza to lose a finger. Kaito never did tell anyone else that Higashi froze like a deer in the headlights. Instead, he took the fall for the missing hundred mil and got himself tossed out of the family. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? That sounds exactly like what Kaito-san would do. Right? But what happened next? How did Higashi get the money back? Couldn't have been easy. He chased the thief down and took it back. Thought that'd get Kaito back into the fold, which it obviously didn't. Thing is, he needed access to the police database to search for faces. I see it now. That's why you know what you do, huh? You think so? It's the only way you'd know about this case. They never filed a police report after all. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Long story short, Higashi used the database and found his man. A homeless guy living on the streets of Kamurojo. Known around town as Red Nose. Here, just sent you a pic. That's what he looked like before his life went to shit. I don't think his nose is all that red. Not my name. Don't ask me. Anyway, I think you know what came next. He tracked Red Nose down and took the money back. But Kaito-san's still out in the cold. Ain't that funny? Meanwhile, Higashi's shooting up the ranks. Guess he got on Hamura's good side. And Red Nose? Haven't heard a peep about him. And I'm keen to keep it that way. Higashi didn't... kill him, did he? Beats me. <laughs> well, how was it? Worth the hundred Gs? A year ago, Higashi must have turned the city upside down looking for Red Nose. If a guy like him could pull that off, so can I. Hello. Huh? I'm looking for a man named Red Nose. Red Nose? Yeah, I know him. I ain't seen him in at least a year, though. Any idea? Nope. Uh, maybe a drink will jog your memory? No, I, I really don't know. Go bug someone else.
いらっしゃいませありがとうございましたSorry. Depends. What do you want? I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Red Nose? Never heard of him. Nothing, huh? But maybe my friends know something. Can you ask them? You bet. Might take some time, though. That's all right. I can wait. If you say so. Oh, and in return, I've got this thing called a play pass. You mind taking a shot at it? Come again? It's for a new game this Big Shot committee just opened. They call it Dice and Cube, over at Paradise VR. Which is what? It's、uh, some kind of fancy board game. You wear stupid glasses, you roll dice, a heck of a lot. It's over on Theater Alley, and you need one of the play passes to get in. Huh. This town's crazy sometimes. I hear they got some pretty nice prizes if you win, too. But my legs are shot to shit. No VR for this hobo. Yeah, I guess you'd still have to move around. I got a few friends who've tried, but it sounds like they're all having trouble. So I want you to get a prize for me. Young guy like you can do it no problem. What do you say? Sounds interesting. All right, you wait here. I'll go win you that prize. Thanks a million, buddy. I'll ask around about your red nose in the meantime.
You don't give up, do you? And stay down. Hendana. Hmm. 
頼んだで Hello? Stay down. Hey, pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Sorry. You couldn't do it, huh? Oh, well. So... Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fellow. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No, not yet. Try heading over to the children's park, then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. Thanks for the tip. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. Kaito, where are you? On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the- You mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. But even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief was a homeless guy by the name of Red Nose. You're saying a bum took our money? Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah?
Hey, sorry about this. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards! You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? We wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up in the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? Not sure. Those types are kinda out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. Fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. <laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? 
Yep, that's him. Not a doubt in my mind. So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. Higashi-san! Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him! Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito-san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what, exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? <laughs> Who? Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. And not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi-san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money... Maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. 
For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all.
didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light. Where the safe was. Not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money? It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town. Till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But... Me and Red Nose... We weren't the only two there. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamura was gonna get 90 mil, and Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy. Who's there? Come out! Hamura... Is that him? It's Higashi, sir! Sorry to barge in on you like this. Higashi... What in the fuck are you doing here? Are you alone? I... Uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy. That's Red Nose. He stole the hundred mil from our office. Sorry, Red Nose. This is nothing personal. <gasps> Captain? Hey, um, that really a good idea? Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I... Uh, I... Well, I... Uh, What was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want. I'm begging you, Captain. But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Prove yourself once and for all. But how? How can I? Here's how. What? 
He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Kind of a turn on, to be honest. <laughs> What are you so upset for? You're finally a real Yakuza now. So you really didn't kill him, huh? No. But people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, what if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm? This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. Yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. Hey, you ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh? <laughs> when Tak was younger, his parents were both stabbed to death. Doc was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them. Pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home... Maybe he could have done something. Anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. So this guy who killed the family, did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So he lied about his age and snagged a job at Tender. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first, either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with the Yakuza my size. The ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal. And one day, I couldn't tell you why, Matsugane-san took a shine to him. The 
this weird father-son thing just kind of happened. Tak wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why he took him in. Tak didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. He's a dead man walking. What are you and Matsugani-san still seeing him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us. And when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. Anaki. The Captain's word is absolute. At least for now. But, if he ever gave the order to off you... I might have to think twice about it. <laughs> I think I can live with that. <laughs>